never before have the lives of so many changed so much, so quickly, as when the engines came to life for the very first time with a roar that echoed over continents. In the soot and ash covering the streets, the people planted seeds of revolution. Visionaries of commerce and diplomacy electrified the world, and sparks of inspiration flew towards the sky. Up. Up over the smokestacks rose a promise of a grand tomorrow. Welcome, one and all. Welcome back to more Victoria 3, where uh, I've just had the best, um, you know, supportive comment from my chat and my mods telling me that they don't think I've uh, I've done too badly so far. Belgium isn't dead. It's lasted uh, three years in game so far. Proud of myself. Right, we do have a little bit of shortage with some of the... Um, some of the older resources though wood is a big one that we we have a a large deficit of minus 366 right now because i went a bit ham on the trade routes but that did bring our gdp up rather tastily rather tastily which is what we had to do for that mission but i'm going to tone down on the wood because it is costing us more um in construction goods because we don't have it readily available um for people to use and obviously it's pushing the price up for the, the pops and things like that so we want to try and sort that out so let's drop off our two lowest trade routes which would be portugal and then we've got 0.8 from britain it's a wood traded. Yeah, it's quite a lot. Let's drop that off. That's going to readjust all these. So they're going to give us a little bit more money because there's a little bit more wood around. We'll see if that has tweaked things a smidge. I don't know if they're just going to take up those orders or what. Whether the demand's that high globally. Or whether it will kind of balance out if there's not as much... I mean, maybe the demand will they'll they'll dive in and like you know go yeah you know what actually we're gonna we're gonna take more wood. We're six point five sixty. I think this is that is say exactly the same. Hmm. How long before the Belgium waffle export? <laughs> that's that's what we need to work on. It's just that's just stayed. For, I think they've all just gone up to one hundred and forty each to. So what dictates how much they actually want then? Just it's always going to give me that. Yeah, I can't choose how much they take. So they've just readjusted for the fact that there's less less roots now taking that wood. Is it just because their demand, their their personal demand is high? Because yeah, I thought that would if I cancel some trade routes, that would drop it off. But that doesn't seem the case. Yeah, you would think it would. But I guess the demand must be high enough for it. Is it because we because we've I don't know. Just, well, the price has skyrocketed. So is that also making other nations go? Oh, this is obviously a thing we should we should get more of. Uh, right. Well, in that case, we should look to. In, increase the number of logging camps that we have to produce more wood. Um, that we can try and keep up with demand right now. Um, we've got the arms industry going in right now as well. You're on five going up to one. Yeah, just do that. It's going to take a little while though. So we're going for we're upgrading our arms industry because we also have artillery selling at 101 and we've definitely got some demand for that 
So let's try and fill that. What have we got situations? Input goods shortage. Yeah, we do need some engines. Expensive government goods. Yes. So we need to sort that out. Research team donkey. That's that's what I'm working on. Uh, where is the steam donkey? Seven years left. We're working on it. The only way I can increase my research. Did we also need that to get the steam donkey? Or are we just we're gaining points in that every so often. Technology technology spread. Or do we get that from like kind of surrounding technology like bleed research? Research is based off literacy. To increase your innovations. Okay, where do we check? Innovation. Okay, let's have a look. Oh. There we go. Produced by university buildings contributes. Okie dokie. Right, more, more unis then. Didn't we build one? I feel like we built one. Yeah, we built one here. So, how you're producing for innovation. If I increase you, yeah. I won't queue it up just yet. Fourteen weeks left on that. Well, we've got iron frame buildings. Yeah, it gives us more. Luxury clothes are increasing. Wood is dropping a little bit. Steel frame gets more from it. So I can construction... Ah, uh, construction sector. I can increase it. Fifty construction total, yeah. At some point, not right now. We're going to need to invest in that. This be a replacement CK3. Um, like, potentially over time, we might kind of flip between a Victoria 3 series and then a CK3 one. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, but next week, we're going to... We're going to hopefully do the finale of CK3. Then we'll probably do some more Vicky 3. And then we'll either start a new CK3 series or another Vicky 3 one. Or have them both like a series of each running in parallel once I finished a couple of series. I haven't quite decided yet. Good Orc Hayden. Um, we need to get the the arms industry done. Let's go through that. Mega Paradox campaign when? <laughs> yeah, so would buy, buy orders that... Change those trade routes has actually done... Like nothing. Unproductive trade routes. Okay, I would export. To Russia. Has changed. It's now no longer profitable. We're getting loads though from France. They are very keen for lots of wood though. So I assume we kill off the Russian one. That has collapsed French routes. Uh, French route. Is that because we've... If anything... Oh, it has decreased a little bit. <laughs> it keeps on rising, though. Construction sector does require a fair bit right now. We did increase our paper production as well, so maybe that's also hitting us. Take a look at wood. Anyone where we can throw it here? No. I think it's... The, is it the collapsing value of it? Most likely that's leading to that? It's a few of them pulling out because it's... 
just too expensive for them. They don't want to pay plus 43% over the base price for it, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, right, the arms. Arms, 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 arms. We're doing on that. So we've now, we're now producing 18, but we've got, yeah, trade routes. 16.3 and barracks plus 10. Could be all this a bit more of their own wood. Yeah. Yeah, we're playing as uh, as Belgium today. Continuing our, our learn to play. Yeah, price of artillery has dropped a little bit. That's because we've got a little bit more artillery available. Cash reserves. We're currently hiring. Right, and your weekly balance is down, so we should probably try and subsidize it to get it supported. Subjugation refused. Texas refused to become a protectorate of France. Yeah, what do we need? We need iron, don't we? I think that's the that's why it's making it so expensive because they don't have enough iron to get this through. The input cost, yeah, is in red for plus 45. Yeah, well, we got the logging camps coming in through to give us a bit more wood available for future construction. And then, hopefully, once we've got both those done, we can start working on some iron. Input good subsidy required. Yeah, that's why. Artillery has dropped. What are we looking on that though? Might, okay, three. Yeah, so we're nearly... That's probably all right now. Hydraulic cranes unlocked. Huzzah! Plus one port max level. Nice. Yes, yeah, so I think that's, that's not. It's in it's in the red still because we don't have quite enough to meet it. But I think that may well increase once we um, get our iron sorted. But also, yeah, it's the. It seems to be the more you produce, the the more the demand is increases with it. It's like you can't ever get on top of it. I guess until you get to a certain stage where you're producing way more than what's needed. Can I change the production method of which? Of wood. So like now wood. <laughs> There's just even more buy orders. The trade route's just jumping up to match it. Everyone wants wood. How do we ever get that balanced out again? Because it's just... Unless we cancel our trade routes completely. Then we'd have such a surplus. Would that crash it? I don't know if we can do that. Right now it's netting us some good... Killing all the trade routes would fix it. <laughs> I can't, I can't increase the price of wood just with like a slider. I can do things to try and affect it though. Is the level of a trade route the a reflection of how dem in demand it is? Because the number of goods traded will not increase. Crash the wood market. Construction method to iron frame. I think we're already on iron frames. Yeah, we're already on iron frames. Chemical plants. Yeah, I'm just that was a mess. <laughs> National expenses, subsidies. Yeah, it's all looking okay for now, ish. Do you want to crash the wood market? Maybe. Let's um Yeah, iron. Let's have a look at this. Let's 
Let's see if we can invest in some iron mines. What have we got here? This is more iron. We don't have anything there we could pop in. Grid transportation. Increases the labor costs. Um, Bezema process unlocked. Hazard for steel mills, reinforced concrete, open hearth process. Nice. Sweet. Should I always subsidize when, when I see it? Or not? That's kind of what I'm wondering. If I've got the money to do it? Would you say only subsidize when you can't make it profitable? Subsidies for admission of faith. <laughs> True that. Right. Um, well, the simplest way to get more iron is to expand the iron mines. And to produce more iron. We need tools and we need coal. We currently have a, a decent balance of that. Um, more tools though. North Sea. Uh oh, what's happening? What's occurring? Uh, we wanted to potentially kick out some, didn't we? To make it easier to potentially look to pass some laws. Because at the moment we've got a lot of potential options. Um, I mean, I don't know really what laws I want to, to put through. Anyone got some good law suggestions? Any anyone know any uh any uh any good laws? No. Anyone know uh, any suggestions? <laughs> I don't really know what which I want. We've got, got a load of patriotic um support there with the petty bourgeoisie and the armed forces, intelligentsia and the rural folk. They're anti-clerical, so we can do religious schools or private schools. I want to keep the rural folk at the moment because they're quite useful um, with the bonuses that we've got for, um, yeah, extra throughput for logging agriculture and ranches when we keep, when we keep them happy. Education access conversion. This will give us wealth education. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for private schools. Currently being enacted. Next checkpoint, 189 days. That's so got a 41% chance of success or 58% chance to advance a stage. I'm assuming as it advances, the success rate increases over time. Is that how that works? I would have thought. I'm going to go with yes. That's how that works. <laughs> Painting opposite. Opposition doesn't matter, hopefully. Uh yeah, I mean let's well let's take a let's take a little looky here. Um oh, legitimacy is good there. Yeah, the Catholic Church are unhappy. Um oh no, they're in opposition. Deal with it. The industrialists are now loyal. And we've got engines of progress. Production technology cost is reduced by 20%. That actually helps us because we're researching the um, steam mule donkey thing. So that'll help. Okay, so steam donkey research. Let me just take a little looky. Technology. Five years left. Yeah, it was going to take like seven years. That's good. Right, we're going through upping our iron production. Highest fiction. Oh, education. Yeah. Here we go. Job, job creators. 
Nice. What's this? Postal savings unlocked. Valuable message for people to save money even if they do not have access to a bank. Postal savings promote both the storage and flow of money among even the poorest citizens. Plus 20% maximum cash reserves. Cash reserve. Monthly price report. Iron is dropping. Coal is eh, dropping a little bit. Right, so I'm pretty sure if we go back to politics, we'll see. Yeah, they've now got all this active. Migration attraction and society technology cost reduction. Oh, so they'll have like a negative. I would like to get the rural folk well, honest, honest work again. That would be quite nice, but I don't know if there's any. Let's have a, let's have a little looky. Anything through there? Or is it because we've, you know, we've, we, we can only push through one law at a time, right? Yeah, I'm assuming. As a reform. Makes sense. Institutions. Education. So we can actually go up. This gives plus 20% education access. Plus 40% conversion. 60% conversion. That's while they're church schools, aren't they? Doesn't seem like that's a bad thing to increase as well because that will help when it's private schools as well, I guess. Let's find out. Preserve religious schools. Ah, we've got a we've got a a movement occurring, is it? Port's medium. Heraclism is low. Express them. Or bolster them. No 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 no. Okay, uh, I remember seeing There we go, yeah, political movements, here we go. So we can see how that goes. So pop support, three hundred and fifty three pops. That's fine. This is fine. Active group traits, nice. Shame about the syphilis. Right. Check the market. Word is I don't have a clue. <laughs> Just leave that doing its thing. I think we have to either cancel all the trade and see what happens or go across. Yeah, just live with it. Um, iron, 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 iron. 12 more weeks so it's complete. Get this through and see what happens to our iron imbalance. Oh, he died. That's a shame. Oh, he retired and then died. There we go. Yeah, shame you can't kind of like manually uh, affect the market prices. I guess when it's like that, you have to just deal, you have to import it until it's like balanced out. Is that the way you need to do it? Need to run some imports? Construction goods, yeah, we are. It's iron that's the most expensive for us right now. Yeah, how's our iron mines? Three more weeks till they're up and running. Week. So we're now producing, we'll wait until it's fully at uh, full employment. Oh, what's this? Commentary article. Newspaper called the Flanders Observer has printed a bigoted article about the people living there. We can suppress the article or we can let it be released. Suppress it. Five years minus 5% authority. Or ignore it. Ah, uh, ignore it. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Next war is killing the price of wood. Yeah. Okay. No. So the sorry, that's steel. Where's iron? Sixteen minus sixteen now. So the imbalance there is we've, we've managed to pull that closer by improving our or expanding our iron mines. So let's just see once they get 
fully hired if that brings us everything in that we need. They are dropping out. Logistics unlocked. Nice. There's 20% conscriptable battalions. Standard of living decreases to 11 in Flanders. Oh no. Academic assistance. The teachers of our high institutions of learning have offered to advise the government in the implementation of new private schools. Lovely. We are trying to get that through right now. Happy to have their help. Minus 50% university building throughput, but plus 20% enactment success chance, or their research work is more important. Plus 10% enactment success chance. Um, yeah, that, let's go for the, I mean, let's go for the plus 10% with no penalty to university building throughput. So now got a 50% chance of it going through for the next stage. Do I need to subsidize this place to get it fully employed? It's still messed up. I think we just need to expand it again to produce a little bit more and then we'll meet the orders and we'll have a little bit extra. Which will bring which will bring the price down. Um but we need iron for tools and things like that. So I think upgrading our iron mine production again wouldn't be terrible. How much extra are we over with our tooling or are we not? I don't think we are. We're, we're in a deficit of tooling. That's why it's costing us more because we don't have enough tools. And we're in deficit of coal. It's going steel mines, iron mines, trade routes, pop consumption, chemical plants. So we need to just invest in all our core stuff. Core um, products. Tools are very profitable. Tool, yeah, tools are doing good. They're definitely selling well. Um, but we, we're already at a deficit. We can't actually meet all the um, all the sell, all the buy orders. We're not even exporting them. So that takes steel, which we have a a Bologna balance of plus one hundred fifty-eight. But overall, we got a balance of minus forty. And yeah, our wood, our wood balance is, is riggedy wrecked. So that bring the cost down a bit. Let's, I'm going to try. Let, let's just see what happens if we tank. Our wood. Let's see, our most profitable, which is the French one. And let's see what that does to the market. We are now, okay, are they going to jump in and take up the extra? I think we had too, way too much export going on with wood which is causing a lot of knock-on problems elsewhere yeah so france are now just going up straight to a level set of oh god no they're just taking up everything they can how do we how do we like cap that <laughs> that feels they're just taking so much their balance the reason why they're buying up so much is because their balance is at minus 865 so they desperately need it they're actually taking even more wood than we had before christ they're in a massive deficit. That's why they're trying to get as much of it as they possibly can. Am I like... I'm enjoying it so far. I don't quite understand it all, though. Like, especially all this... My... What the... Oh, that's the French market. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, so they've just taken... Unless I absolutely cancel all my wood export. France is just going to gobble up as much as possible. I can't ever make it, like, balance it. But wood has shot up in price. Because France has such high demand for it. And I've got rid of all the other exports. So they are keen to pay whatever they can for it. Only limit who you trade with. So who you pick is important. Yeah. So I would actually need to pick someone who doesn't have as high a demand. To take. Whereas France is massively in, in a deficit of it. Right. Try importing some wood. If finding out how you can influence and change things is all part of the fun. So yeah, our tariffs on imports. Yeah, we're doing we're doing well on that. This is good. This is good. Yes, yeah, so our tariffs there. Import of wood, import of sugar, sulfur. Yes, we're actually doing okay. So actually, import of wood's actually helping us out quite a bit. And there we go. Our wood is balanced. So does it? Do you think it just imports to meet your needs, right? So it will just 
set it flat. It looks like it. You'll import. Well, yeah, obviously you would. How much you would import would always make sense. You would do it to fill up any. Yeah, that makes that makes perfect sense of it. Meets your. Your deficit per, like bang on. So now that we've got that balance with an import and an export out to France, which is actually doing quite well. That's got wood balanced. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. We could also, we could still export more. And that would increase things even further than that would... I don't think we could import more from Russia, could we, to support a separate route? Why not have import and export for everything? So that's why I'm trying to work out, like, is that not just... Is that the, the name of the game? Like, why why would you not have that? Mm -mm -mm. Right, so let's take a look. What else are we short on right now? So we could import some coal and tools. How's our iron doing, actually? Uh, we're actually okay on iron now. Iron production is a okay. Tools can be made from wood. Yeah, so we sh we could potentially actually then just come. Now we've got our our wood squared away, hopefully. to tooling workshops and expand them steel and wood we do need a bit more steel though that's from iron and coal and yeah coal we need improving Increase our coal mines as well. I'm just going to improve them again. Get convoys from ports and this limits the number of ports you can build per state. Okay. So you have a quick little look across the rest of the world while we're letting things run. <clears throat> or on the markets tab yet. There we go. How's New Zealand doing? Oh, they've... Um, United Tribes took the uh, the north back. Massive drop in dyes. Iron increases. Liquor drops. And of course, the British have Gibraltar. Yep. <laughs> Got the rock. Nice Africa for more wood for the tall empire. How do we go about that? What's the best way of colonizing Africa? How does one begin to do this? Oh, what's this? Uh oh. Dye workers accident. Oh no. Several workers died today at Flanders Dye Works. They died at the dye works? Who'd have thought? Um industrial sized tub of hot dye accidentally spilled over the workshop floor and the unsuspected workers. Oh no. Locals are upset about the incident, claiming that the poor safety regulations in the hot and dangerous workplace are to blame for the incident, and are urging the government to take action. As rescue workers left the scene, several workshop employees were left dying. Oh no. We shall all die sooner or later. Uh, plus 4% mortality of labourers employed in manufacturing. Oh dear. And plus 5% of labourer pops and plants become more radical. Or they shall not have died in vain. Um, so plus 4% mortality of labourers employed in manufacturing. But we can also, trade unions gather some support. 
not have died in vain. The puns are too good. Gotta go for it. Gotta go for it. Um, going through. So four. Africa, Africa, we need to pass the colonial law. We're passing schools right now. Private schools. Well, that's what we're pushing for anyway. So after that, yeah, we'll look at colonialism stuff. Much puns, such wow. What have we got on red messages? Stop piling gold. Uh, yes, I have gold. What? What about it? <laughs> yeah, some some. Someone's hitting something very loud outside. We do need more engines. They have too much gold. Spend it. I likes all the gold in my reserves. <laughs> what can I spend it on? Just building stuff, right? I was going to expand that we're limited on the amount we can construct, though. We should probably increase the construction sen uh, sector so that we can get more construction, right? So if I do that, we've got quite a queue of things. Take a little while. There'd be some turmoil over here. I do have iron mines, yeah. They're doing all right. I think we've, we've had them upgrade recently. Yeah, trade routes cost bureaucracy. Uh, and number of convoys to run them. Yeah, so engines it'll be... Where will it be? Do, 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 do. Where are we producing our engines? It's a building. We haven't got it yet, have we? It's not going to be an urban... Oh, motor industries, yeah. Right? And then from that we can produce trains, I assume. So if we're, we're losing 11.4k because... Or like a week or whatever because we can't stop by anymore. But what, what else can we do with it? Just building buildings? But we're limited by the amount we can kind of construct, right? We've got 12 weeks left of that. Let's, um, yeah, let's get the construction sector stuff to the top first, because then that'll improve the construction of everything else that we've got. Crystal glass unlocked. Huzzah. Oh, raising, uh, raising concerns. Landowners have expressed their concerns about government decisions clearly favoring the interests of the industrialists. They need to accept that we cannot always please everyone. Um, yes. Can't please everyone. Curriculum disagreements. Disagreements within the government about what should be taught in the new private schools have been uh, have brought implementation of the reform to a standstill. Force a compromise. Mm. Time to work out the differences. Enactment time plus 20%. Or we lose success chance as well. Let's go time to take some time to work out the differences. Yeah, slows things down, but I don't lose any success chance. Okay, we now got 18 construction. God, I feel like we should just we should just massively increase our amount of construction, surely. Two out of 15 we can have. What what is it? What does it cost to increase this? 
minus 6.39. Well, we might as well. Can we like set that up to like, like loads more? Shopping, yeah, just like spend like crazy, right? I'm not seeing a downside here. <laughs> um, because these don't take long to build at all. Takes it all the way to the top of the view. Let's find out. Can we tank the economy? Or will we be fine? This should allow us to build other stuff much faster because we've got much, much more construction available. Oh, look. Yeah, there we go. Look. We're spending the money. The reserves. Oh, no. We're spending a lot in construction goods. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But once this is all done, surely it'll all be fine. There's a temporary national expenses, yeah. Good thing we got a lot of reserves, everybody. Not for long. <laughs> Nationalism unlocked, hazard. Thirteen weeks for steel mill. Um. Yeah, they're building all of those now. In parallel, that's good. Let's get things done. Yeah, we've got 7 out of 15 on both right now. We'll leave it at that. Improve access to consumer goods. Nice. Ooh, and that's enacting, yep, yeah, 69.8%. Beautiful. Damn landowners. Let's let's bolt them. Let's see what occurs with that. What's the I mean, I'm going with that's like my running thing so far with this run. What's the worst that could happen? Unused construction production. Oh yeah. Um right, so we can yeah, we can use more. Oh wow, we've got up to sixty-eight now. Damn! So um, uh so we just need to go on an absolute crazy spending spree, right? Um and just build a load more things, I feel. Because if we're not building anything and we have the money to build stuff, we should be. Oh, okay, oh, okay, we're gonna have to let our reserves build back up after this. But I now understand the whole reserves. I was thinking, like, what, what, why is it just coming in? Build it up for a while, get it nice and full, spend a crap ton of money to build up a load of other things that hopefully mitigate and better balance out your economy. And then it will let it back rise again, let your reserves fill up again, and then spend more of it. Yes? Am I learning? Am I getting better? I can't quite tell. It's quite difficult. <laughs> I think I am. I think, I, th I think, I think so. I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> Are we doing well? Are we winning? <laughs> are we are we are we getting better? Is there anything you guys feel like I'm massively missing out on? Your rambling seem logical, at least logical. Now that's good. Spend to earn more. <laughs> Spend money to make money. This is the first time seeing gameplay of this, so I'm putting all my faith in you. Oh good god. Oh good god. <laughs> Um, yeah, I feel like... Right, let's go back and see what we need to invest in some more of. Um, feels like we need to upgrade our grain, actually. Because we are... There's an imbalance of it. And that will increase... Yeah, they're, they're struggling. Rural folk. Politically inactive. Um... I'm assuming. We we'll increase the standard of living, don't we? They have an average of plus 18.6 compared to base price for their pop needs. Where do we see pop needs? Hover over the 18. Oh, here we go. Right, yeah. So because there's a deficit of grain, they are having to pay. That's all their needs that they, they have. We need to give them more food. The 
has an average of 8.2% of their income in taxes, reducing their available money for pop needs. Yeah, and pop needs, are cu they're currently paying over price. The only thing they're not paying a lot of is liquor, funnily enough, and meat. And fruit. Actually, that's, that's kind of good. It's just grain. They need more grain. They need more grain. What about laborers? So, yeah, we should sort out grain. And we Ideally, we want all of... We don't want anything being out of balance, right? Ultimately. We want everything on being balanced out or having a surplus of it. Although that would obviously drive the price down of it. In which case, we need to build more industry that utilizes that resource to help consume it and potentially drive up the price. And then if we could drive up the price, we could then export it for profit. Yeah, food surplus sounds like a very good thing. Cheap food, for at least cheap grain anyway. Am I making sense yet? Yeah, because we've got more sell orders than buy orders, liquor comes down in price. Oh, we've sorted out fertilizer. That's good. Okay, let's sort out some grain. Let's get some grain construction going then. Here we go. Livestock, that's going to produce what? Meat? Yeah, meats, fabrics, and fertilizer. And for that, they need grain. So, yeah, we need to overhaul. Big investment into our wheat farms then. Uh, we've got that on citrus orchards. Oh, yeah, I was looking originally at going for a load of vineyards, wasn't I? And then shipping off a load of wine to Russia. Um, how are we doing on what fruit and sugar? Yeah, price of wine increases right now because there's not enough being produced. So we need to sort out trains at some point. We need the motor pool for that. But we need to get our core, we need to get our base resources production sources, I think, first. So fruit, we're at a slight surplus. The only sell... The only buy orders are pop consumption. And we... Food industries... Need... Sorry, yeah, need sugar. And a little bit of consumption, but we're producing quite... Oh, we've got, we're importing it, aren't we, through trade routes? Uh, we're actually earning some money for that import. So I think, yeah, let's um, let's change this. That ah, that actually would. That's costing us a load of grain going into that as well. So let's just go. Would that actually produce any? No, we would still produce grain from that. We would actually then we wouldn't produce any sugar or fruit. We would then start producing vineyards. Uh, it's vineyards, wine. So we should actually Im nearly, Im well, not immediately. Um, but we should have more grain available, I think, by switching that over. Oh, no, sorry. It still it still costs us that. Oh, I didn't see that. Same minus 140 grains. So it's the same amount. It wasn't showing me the, the loss there because it was already a given that we'd lose some. Okay, that doesn't change at all. But when we expand our grain farms... You've never bought a Belgian wine bottle? Well, you guys are in for a treat. Let the wine empire begin. Uh, fertilizer. Tool. We need more tools. Need more tools, my lord. We're working on that next. Uh, so, yeah, get that expanded. That's in Wallonia. Uh, can we have a chat to Flanders and also expand the farm's ear? And what have we got here? Harvest process. More tools. That uses less tools. Uh, requires more laborers. I am actually yeah, going to switch to ox ox plows. So we ha we're using up less tools. Because right now we don't actually have that many. So let's tweak that. Let's also tweak that in Wallonia. Ox powered plows. Tool industry is going to love me. Yeah. Um, so let's go back in here. Check out tools still massively low though i sounded devonshire when i said fertilizer who are need some fur for me <laughs> 
Import steel route cancelled. Okay, that should give me a little bit more steel locally. Nope. Cooling workshops are still keen for it. Oh, no. no there we go. Now it's rebalancing. There's less being shipped off. There's still some trade routes going off there. We've got production increasing. Yeah, we need to increase our steel mills. Where's my steel mill? There. Pro Ooh. Ah. Subsidize you? Because it's too expensive for the iron. Oh my god. Look at that market balance. Minus 591. Oof. Why has that happened? Just con Oh, the construction sector requires a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that a permanent one they use then? Okay, come back in here. Go to... Stop subsidizing it. seen how much money we have left. Can't quite afford to do this. Okay, let's finish our crazy spend, which I'm not sure we can actually afford. Let our reserves build back up again and then sort out iron. We may have to import some. Let's see if we can do that in the meantime, actually. Let's go for that because actually let's go for both the French market and the Prussian market because that's not going to cost us any convoys. Let's see that sell. It's fun to go into deficit for a while. You probably have a lot of credit. Um, um, is credit I can something I can tangibly check or not credit's ringing us in 95 right now yeah let's just see how these trade routes pick up your unprotected trade routes exporting steel okay let's cancel that let's keep the steel for ourselves wood's good but wood's going to, we're getting so much on import tariffs for all that wood coming in from Russia I love it But I still beg the question, like, surely you would just want to import, export everything you possibly can as long as you've got enough bureaucracy to maintain all those trades, right? Like, trade routes are helping a bit, but not. Oh, we're getting some more. Here we go. Come on. Here, trade routes, trade routes, trade routes, trade routes. Um, iron, we are importing, yeah, tariffs that's costing us. But right now, I kind of need to suck it up and take the hit in a way. Because we need that iron. Ah, right. I was like, why is that unprofitable? Because the French market, they are exporting 851 iron. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, no, sorry. They, they're importing a load of iron and they're exporting 10 to me. But they are still in a balance deficit of 807. So that's why it's crap. I was trying to see where that was somewhere. I've forgotten where that was exactly. Right. Kill that one off. Let's look for another import route for iron that can work for us. Wish from here you could see how much they had. The British have only got 25. They export. So yes, there's no others there really worth it. So yeah, we'll leave all that then. And we'll just come back to here and see if that trade route keeps building on up and giving us a bit more iron. Okay. 
Anyway, um, we are still building all the uh, wheat farm upgrades. And then we're going to see if we can rebuild our gold reserves a little bit because they are about to go into the red. Field works unlocked. Reputation. Army defense plus 10%. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. We should be producing a load more from our wheat farms now. Last one going through. And there we go. Income is rising. Good, good, good. So yeah, let it all build back up again. It's going to take a little while. Oh, we got... Oh, there's our credit. You guys were talking about credit earlier. That's great. The amount of money in the treasury can be borrowed from its economy equal to some of all domestic cash reserves plus a base value. If the principal exceeds the credit limit, the country goes into default. Yeah, we haven't done that yet. So we, had, so we could have we could have gone 2.76 mil. Good, 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 good. Um, we all good. We all good. Um, minting. Yep. Lovely. Um, so we. Oh, we've got we've got a few journal entries now. Hello. We're still working on that research. How long have we got left on that? Actually, 22 months. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Um, increase market access by decree. Issue road maintenance decree in Wallonia. Tell me why. Market access represents how well connected your states are to the market. With 100% market access, a state will create 10 sell orders for every 10 goods produced and 10 buy orders for every 10 goods consumed. With 50% access, it will be 5 and 5. Specializing your states while keeping them well connected is key to running a prosperous nation. Local price conditions can favor some pops over others. In a state with high grain production but poor market access, grain will sell for a lower price than the market price. While this might make the pop needs for the lower strata easier to meet, it will also limit the wages that grain producing buildings can pay out. In the long run, states with poor market access fall behind financially. Decrees can be used to impose an effect on a state at the expense of authority. The effect will remain only for as long as the decree remains. So you need to choose carefully which decrees to use um, where authority is limited. Whereas uh, you need to choose carefully which decrees to use where since authority is a limited resource. Solving an infrastructure shortage more permanently requires other approaches which you will learn about later. Okay, now tell me how. Here we go to the political lens, we go to decrees. Ah, I've not even looked at any of these. Here we go. Some decrees. Okay, so it costs a hundred authority. Hey. Plus 25% infrastructure, plus 10% state construction efficiency. Nice. What have we got there? We've got encourage agricultural industry through... Oh, yeah, we remember we had that one a while back, didn't we? Do it in Wallonia. So we've got all of those there. Those are permanent, though, aren't they? Yeah. So you need to increase the amount of authority you generate to be able to put more of them in. We see. Great job. You have now issued a road maintenance decree in Wallonia at the cost of 100 authority. Close the political lens. You can... See a managed decrees via the political lens. They are also visible in the state panel overview. In this case, the panel overview of Wallonia. Infrastructure. Using 68 out of 79. Deep trades base value, pops and road maintenance plus 25%. Right. How well connected a state is to its market and how rapidly uh, battalions mobilize. Okay, so we're not maxed out there then. So, maintain road maintenance to Korean Wallonia for 12 weeks. Okay, and then we could always cancel it if we needed to. Fair, 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 fair. Acting private schools, success is increasing. So how much longer have we got left on that? 28 days for the next check, checkpoint. Advance. Stall. Yeah, cool. 
Uh, make an interest group happy. Catholic Church seems to have low approval of our government. Make sure it's equal to plus two. Okay. And passing institutional law. Change the current health law. Okay. Doki, we'll come to that in a little bit because we're currently trying to do private schools. Um, right. We've managed to sort out the input goods shortage in a lot of places. By the looks of things. At least they're getting it. Um, yeah, we're getting more in there. Pop consumption. We're still negative on grain, but we are bringing it a bit closer, which is good. How are we looking on things like iron? Iron, we've actually got a um, got a bit extra at the moment. Just trade with iron. We're not too far behind, to be fair, with what our mines are producing enough to get us out of a deficit. Oh, iron is no longer profitable for us. So I could actually cancel both of those. Because so I think we're good now. Yeah, we should be pretty much bang on. Perfect. Happy days. Nice. So we still got to sort out grain. But we need to rebuild our stocks. Um, our, our cash reserves. Our stocks? Okay, yeah, cash reserves. Um... Making this group happy, yeah, that's what we're going to look at. Let's take a wee looky. Oh, crap. Yeah, they're unhappy. What is it? Um, law change. Oh, no. And it will radicalize them. Oh, no. We should. We should. We should. We should do something about that. Go all Henry VIII in the church, yeah. Can we just crush? Well, I wish it had been a different interest group and not them. Because, yeah, they could turn against us soon. God, this map is glorious. We now have private schools. Huzzah! Yeah, the, the, this will radicalize the Catholic Church. They are very upset now. Uh, but we now get plus 1.5% wealth, education access. Woo! And plus 30% intelligentsia, political strength. It establishes the education institution. Interest groups, they endorse it. Industrialists. Rup row. Um, yes, yeah, so. Restore. They want restore public schools. Um, radicalization medium. How do I crush that? Yeah, no, we do not want that. No, 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 no. I see we've got the yeah, education institution. So if we keep increasing that. Maximum level of three. Stays at three then, does it? Okay. Church hospitals might appease them. That's true. Oh, we've got to do something with our healthcare, haven't we? laws why gain institution how it spends money the population enjoys transforming your laws to keep up with the times necessity uh both use practical reasons and to dodge population rising up against you yep right um so let's take a wee lucky health system um there's private health insurance, charity hospitals can't do that because it's not supported by our laws. Right, not part. Well, not part of our laws. Why? Must be in that. Uh, chance must be above zero percent through support either through an intergroup, government, a political movement, or ruler's ideology. We need pharmaceuticals for private health insurance, but that would. 
make the Catholic Church a fair bit happier. Would mod... Oh no, the trade unions would endorse us as well. The industrialists would oppose it slightly, but not too bad. The charity hospitals isn't too bad. Um, so we would need the Catholic Party back in government to be able to push that. Um, yeah, they're they're a wee bit pissed. It's what I, what early Belgium was actually like. Oh, I'm glad I'm kind of happy accident following through with what actually happened. <laughs> Anything else I can go for that would make them happy? That would radicalize the church, state religion. Can't do that. Yeah, they need to be in in power. It needs to be one of the ideologies. But these guys support which, yeah. I... What's happening here? Bolstered, yeah. I can't reform right now, can I? Barely for laissez-faire. Next election, 29th of September. So when you have an election that allows you to reform the government freely, right? If I do it now, it, what someone was saying, there's a is there like a cost to it? Is it the... We can actually bring in the Catholic Party with a minimal hit, but then it'd be very hard to get stuff through. We'd have to swap them out for, I don't know. It will cause a, a change in radicals. If there won't be a change, it doesn't show anything. So you'll only see the change radicals if there will be one. So there wouldn't be... So we could actually change... We could bring in the Catholic Party right now and there isn't any change. Showing all we're going to have is a legitimacy drop. Because we could bring them in right now and then we could start looking at hospitals. But then who do we kick out? Right, now we can see there's going to be a shift to radicals. Yeah, less loyalists. Mm-hmm. So actually bringing the church in isn't going to change things too much. Just bring everybody in. That's way too big. How do we make them less angry easily? Probably by not um, changing it from church schools. Catholic Church endorses the change. Censorship. <laughs> rather than right of assembly it gives more authority less technological spread bolster increases but it's hard to suppress them of course they'll have a bit of censorship so we could do that that would get them from minus 12 to minus 7 so that's something to consider but is there something that's going to make a better better result welfare poor laws slavery is banned can't imagine the church would like propertized women. Change that to censorship. Let's do that. For now. So we've got 10%... A 10% success rate. A 16% debate chance. Okay. Let's see how that goes. Play. Yeah, like hopefully. Um <laughs> hopefully this will like help you guys get started in the game far quicker than me, ultimately. Okay, so debates it'll fire off in an, an event. Okay, that's that's cool. Alright, let's just run through. But I'm taking my time with this. Like we're going pretty slowly, I feel, but um I'm just trying to absorb it all so that I don't continually struggle with this long term, basically. Coal is what we need. We still need grain, actually. But we really could do with our gold reserves being built up a bit more. I think, honestly, we could probably just... Oh, what's this? Slightly more expensive. Paper, 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 paper. We're a little bit short on it. But it's an expensive government good. So if we could import some paper, that would actually help us out. So 
Let's see if there's a good import. Ooh, no, it's all going to cost us. Yeah, pay for the expensive. Okay. Um, well, let's look at... Uh, let's look at coal. I imagine this one's going to be difficult. We could from the Prussian market. So let's get that in there. And the British market. Don't worry about the Ottoman. I don't want to go too crazy. Got to keep an eye on my bureaucracy as well with trade routes. Let's see if that will help our supply out a little bit. We should make us all more profitable if we're not in deficit. By comparison to yesterday's stream, you've got the game really quickly. Thanks. <laughs> like, I'm definitely getting there. But it is... Like when I feel like we've only we've only scratched the surface of stuff we can and could be doing. Any good your government pays for cost more than twenty percent of the public pays for because too expensive. Yeah, okay. So clothes, bloody hell, they're expensive. Let's see where we can get these. Where they're gonna work with our tariffs? Ottomans, the British market. Yep. Let's secure that. Just see if it helps alleviate some costs. And obviously, if it generates us some tariff income, that's always good. Um, furniture, that is blood. It's plus 62% over base base price. So let's see if we can import some from the French and the British. No, Spanish market. Let's go there. Okay. Uh, services. Market stores based production. Increase the arts, or we could pop in an arts academy. Can't afford to construct construct stuff right now, though. Yep, services. We can't just um, import some services. Pop consumption. Urban sense, so we need to upgrade that bit. Some unlock socialism. Do I? <laughs> I mean, is it going to hurt? We are slightly more expensive. Can we import it anyway? No. Aren't we like... Yeah, number three world producer plus five prestige. Nice. Which one does our prestige come into? Authority at all? Or is that a, to that's a totally different modifier, isn't it? Our GDP is rising as well, which is good. It was 8 million at the start of the stream. It's now 8.7. Fair few radicals. Prestige. Oh, it affects our rank. Here we go. Yeah, current prestige. Prestige 66. There we go. Nice. Thank you, guys. Improve markets or enabled lighting at your urban centers. Um, I, uh, I haven't done anything to my urban centers. What should I be doing at my urban centers? Market stores, market squares. That produces... Oh, less. Produces less services. Consumes glass. Which we don't have. So that's going to be expensive. Um, increases employment for clerks, though. And uh, decreases employment for laborers. Yes, we don't do that. Up oh, gas streetlights. Unlit streets. This immediately gives another 210 services, but costs 70 coal. Increased employment, though. Whack those streetlights right on. Yes, please. Uh, we've got public transportation only, public trams. And then we've got here state run churches or free churches. Like it was plus 2.22k into what our money or into the production. No, it'll be into the production here. Productivity here, won't it? 
which we then get cut off. How do you win a Vicky 3 campaign? I'm not sure yet. Just don't die. <laughs> you trying to set your own goals, yeah. Yeah, I think that's all we need to change there. So that's in Flanders. Let's come to Polonia and come in here and go gas street lights. Yeah. So it's going to kill our coal a little bit. You ha you win if you have any idea what you're doing by the time the game's over. Yeah, that's true. Um, that is going to properly upset coal. Urban centers are going to be using more of it. But our services, we actually now have a um, extra supply. Like good or bad to have more of that, to be honest. Like, do we want to have a surplus or do you want to keep it fairly balanced? We just probably turn off some of those street lights. <laughs> okay. Still building reserves up. How can I get a lot more money coming in quickly? Um, some good tariffs, some good exports would be... Um, would be good. Uh, but we need to have stuff with surplus. Let's sell in. Hi. No, we have none. Don't have none of that. Nitroglycerin unlocked. Huzzah. Oh my. We can go to our mines now, can't we? And see if... Uh, Manual drilling, much glycerin. Oh, increase the mortality. Oh dear. But plus 60 iron. Plus 60 more produced. Consume some explosives. We don't actually have that many explosives. We don't have any production for it. It does increase engineers and employment though. Better tax laws, consumption taxes, and improving your GDP and standard of living are way more effective. Okay. But you can improve your GDP through more more um trade though right like well well trade that produces tariffs is what i'm thinking along those lines if i can find a good ah wine yes we finally got plenty of wine going from the wheat farms let's sell some wine come on there's gotta be someone that's thirsty and it's russia sell some vine and the French also want to get in on this. Um, Prussians, I feel like I'm sending far too much wine now. Let's have a wee looky. Produce plus 115. So it's still a surplus. French buying Belgian wine. Mm. Tasty. Let's check out. So, yeah, where's our wine? Selling for 51, plus 3% above base price. Yeah, that's keeping it within what we have right now. That's good. I feel like that is going to... Oh, yeah, okay. That's a little bit much. We need to produce some more. A lot of demand there. Oh, wine! Quick. The wheat farms. Uh, can I build some more right now? Maybe. How much is that going to cost me? 13.1k in construction goods. Taking eight weeks. 
I just kind of want to see how much this takes my while. We got one, uh, we got one twenty wine being produced right now. Let's kind of see how much this takes things up, just so I can work out further building. Crash the wine market so fast crumbles. Wine from wheat farms, you say? Uh, it's, we're we're doing secondary production. Oh, good. Here we go. What's this? King intervenes in political process. The king has taken a personal interest in the ongoing debate concerning censorship and have re resolved to use his royal prerogative to ensure the law passes. Oh, the king's will be done. Intelligentsia minus three interest group approval, um, but plus 20% success chance. We currently have a success chance of 9.3%. Advise the king against it. It would do more harm than good. Uh, no, the king's will be done. God save the king. All right, see where this gets us. So it gives 10, 10 more wine produced, but let's just see when this gets to full employment. What that does as well. Pop that up there. Oh, no, yeah. All the construction kicked in real hard. Rip my reserves. Oh, it's an election. Hello. Um, Catholic Party did pretty well. Liberal Party, 36. Free Trade Party, 21. Cool. Free government reform. So, I was trying to bring in the... Oh, they're at minus four. Why have they improved? I'm not, 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 not that I should be complaining. We... Oh, can we bring them in? They're not... They're no longer angry, are they? Yeah, we totally can. Noise. Um, there's less radicals in now as well, actually. It's decreased by quite a bit. Um, should we... Should we try for a big old government? Just because we know we should be able to start pushing those things through, or oh, that was meant that it was always going to drop out because some it was some modifiers, was it? You guys say kick them out. Okay, we'll kick out the free trade party for now. Thanks, Twitch chat. I also now a hundred percent blame you guys if this goes tits up. Um, yay democracy. Uh, but yes. So Twitch have helped decide that we're going to kick out the free trade party for now, uh, so we can bring in the Catholic party. Ain't no party like a Catholic party. Hey. Oh. Right. Laws. Uh, we've got censorship going through, so I can't jump on into this one yet. Because we're already enacting censorship. But we should hopefully be able to push through charity hospitals. Um, because we've got our, our tutorial quest to make an interest group happy, which is the Catholic Church. And we can do that by putting in a policy that they like or endorse or favor yes yeah, so i was like oh no where's my money tanking oh yeah we're doing lots of we're trying to get more wine this is the robert baratheon of strategies right now need to produce more wine you're looking like oh the steam donkey unlocked huzzah Steam Donkey. We completed it. Huzzah! No active research. What should we go for? Threshing machines. Dynamite. A plus 25% resource discovery chance. Uh, fertilizer, because you want to increase wine production. Uh, I don't think fertilizer has an impact on wine production, actually. But it is good for more grain. And we are still negative on grain. So, wouldn't actually be a terrible shout. So... Yeah, let's go for improved fertilizer. That's a that's a that's a good shout, to be fair. Um because yeah, where are we on grain? Yeah, negative still. Oh, sweet crap. Iron is terrible. Why what why? The construction right, yeah. Construction sector right now we are building a lot. Let give it a give it a little bit longer until that two two more weeks. And then we can see actually how much we need. Sweet baby Jesus. Last grain farm going. Oh, we're back into credit again. Oh, look. Oh, God. Look at our GDP, though. Oh, whoa. 9.95 mil. 10 million. I'm clearly doing something right. And I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing right. But I'm, I'm pressing buttons and taking names. And so far, having a lovely time. Welcome to I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing, let's play, but it's so far going good. Not dead yet. Um 
So iron, when we're not building stuff, we're still minus 147. Ah. Ah, raw folk, the old ways. Oh, they're unhappy. Arr, rabble, rabble. Income taxes. So basically, we want to, that everyone to have better wages so we can collect more from them. Ewo, breeding and education. Disagreements between the landowners and the intelligentsia are causing conflicts in government. You would understand my argument a lot better if you had read anything written in the last hundred years. I refuse to read anything from an era in which uneducated people were taught to write. Innovators should leave the why to others and focus on the how. Nobles must accept they are behind the times. Intellectual and hereditary elites need to collaborate. Don't really want to lose some, some authority. So I'm actually going to say, screw you landowners, you're behind the times. And then we've got overwhelming propaganda. We have trouble drumming up support for censorship. Landowners are using the current lax laws to print and circulate thousands of propaganda leaflets and newspapers. This is out of our hands or we could censor some of it illegally. 25% chance Belgium gets illegal censorship f failure. 75% chance that it succeeds. I'm going to go for the 75% chance. Huzzah! It was successful. Yay! Censorship! Censorship does mean slower tech growth. This is true. But it will... It will actually no, we won't need the it will make the Catholic Church like us. We can always change it later. Iron oh is nearly actually up to scratch now that we finish constructing. But we do this just shows that we need to mahusively overhaul and increase our iron production because it is falling rapidly behind the times. Um Are we still behind on wine? Oh no. I thought we managed to build up a bit more wine. Have, have they increased their trade orders? They probably have, haven't they? I still don't get that. If you're if you're increasing your output, they just keep on just wanting more. I mean, surely they let you catch up eventually. There's got to be a cap at some point. Inactive. Oh no. Okay, cancel that. One. Rain's getting there though. Which is good. Uh, can we import any more wood just to make up for that right now? We can. Wonderfully. In the Prussian market. Even the British market actually as well. Let's look at both those. Uh, let me just see what we'll be looking at overall with the Prussian market. Oh, they are horrifically... Poorly balanced. But they are just shipping a crap ton of it. The British market, though, is, is solid. Russian market, not solid. But the British market is. Okay, well, we'll, um, we'll just keep seeing how things go. Um, yeah, tools, 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 tools. But tools need iron, though, right? Or is it? No, it's coal and wood, I think. Oh, I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's figure it. Where are they? They need steel. Steel and wood. Overall, our market balance is minus 60 on steel. Export. Oh, they're... No, yeah, they're, they've got... Steel import route. Import any more new. That we need iron, which we are slightly behind. Oh, we can go up to the Bezimir. Ah, so that list of steel process, we get 260 steel. This one, we only get 100. But rather than consuming coal and iron, it only consumes iron. So it uses up far more, far less iron, which is good, but it produces less steel. And we need steel. 
You can change tools to only need wood. Oh, steel tools, right. Crude tools. Where we get far less tool tools produced. Yeah. I'd rather have... I need... Really, I need more... I need all the tools, though, right now, don't I? Oh, but no, our market balance actually... It's just balanced out now. With our trade that we've done. Yeah, we're plus three now. Conquer a state. I mean, I'm, I'm very tempted to give this a go at some point. Not not today, I don't think, because I think we'll, um, we'll struggle. We probably need to think about increasing our military a little bit before I feel comfortable about doing that. But some some shenanigans I feel could 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 occur. Why not? Well, the next exciting episode of Belgium at war. Oh, what's this? A battle between France and Prussia. <gasps> they got there. They got the cannons up. It just plays out, doesn't it? So here we can see the battle. The battle for Trier. The French, the French are pushing into the Rhineland. They've got what six, six battalions. That's what it's saying. Six versus one. Yeah, current battalion six, battalions one defending. Start of the battle, they had six. Start, they had six. So they've done really. The French have done really well. I mean, kind of. Oh, and these are markers for where there were previous battles and war. That's cool. Like, victory markers, I think. And the Brits are now facing the French in the Rhineland. French are defending against the Brits and massively smashing the faces. Can we check the culture tab? Yeah, we can check that. Bear with. See how this battle goes out. I just want to see if this if territory actually changes. I don't know what their uh, what their war's about. I think you get like the the burning fire around it. Oh, there we go. It's the battle though. Devastation. Oh, and they're clashing with the Prussians now. French are. Uh, Doing pretty well though. We've got some. We can see this ter some terrain influence here as well. Will the French then claim? What are they doing this for? A, I don't know what their war. What the what the war they're they're fighting this for? They may not be doing it for a capture. This gives me a chance for my uh, reserves to build back up. If you press the arrow buttons next, the battle goes to the front page. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, Prussian side, French side. Prussia's got 562 fully mobilized battalions. I mean, okay, it's Prussia. France's got 407. So Prussian, Prussians are currently winning. Uh, Prussia, and the Prussians, because the Prussians have got Britain, Sweden, Netherlands, Holle, Hohenzollern. So what's their war goal? Just war reparations, yeah. So that they've gone what well, they've gone to war for war reparations for a previous one. I guess. Just they've just gone to war for money. Oh, monument to the king. Oh my. Wonderful. It's nice. Statue of King Leopold uh was commissioned and it's been suggested that it 
be displayed proudly in Wallonia. A monument worthy of the king. Plus 3% prestige. Plus 2% pops will only become more radical. Perhaps not everyone wishes to be reminded of the king. Nope. Still be my monument, damn it. Preserve the right of assembly. Eh. Enact migration controls. Um, yeah, I don't personally mind if we have some migration controls, actually. We just have to wait until these try and fire them off, right, with events. And then we try and deal with them, right? These additional convoys, so we need to build more convoys. <laughs> if your low population migration controls can be a problem, okay. Keep an eye on it. Happy little Belgium. Yeah, they're just fighting away over there. I need Prussia to split up a little bit to uh, <laughs> grab like through Cologne and what have you. That'd be kind of good to like make a solid Belgium stay. Are you guys saying check culture? See if there was a uh, what a nation we could create? A Belgium nation? How'd you do that? Oh, nation formation. Ah. Oh. No possible country formations. Guess, yeah. I think we're already counts, right, as Belgium. And let that build. Let the reserves build up a little bit, I think. Before we do more crazy construction. Um, oh. Uh, American Iberian interest activated. Okay. Uh, check the market again. Yeah, we just need to do a load of construction, I think. USA began embargoing Mexico. Yeah, oh. Overall, we're doing all right. I think. Book burnings. Oh, and peace. Initiator war goals. Conquer Prussian Hess. Oh, so they were trying to to conquer some territory. Target war goals. Frankfurt. Humiliate Prussia. Oh, sorry. The initiate. Yeah, so Prussia. What's Prussian ones? Older Prussia. Target Frankfurt effects. Prussia conquered state of Prussian Hess from from Frankfurt. Okay, so they've taken that. And Sweden that joined in that war, they wanted war reparations. Um, it's excellent. Book burning minus five innovation. What if we organize state run book burnings? 75% chance to gain plus 20%. Do it. Yes. So they've just grabbed. Um, yeah, Prussian Hess. So they've just grabbed even more territory. Conquest! It happens. I feel like I'm going to let my money get up to like a million in reserves and then go ham a little bit, I think. Anyway. Well, that is where we're going to wrap things up for the glorious nation of Belgium for another stream and another episode. I hope you've continued to enjoy this learning experience. Those of you watching on YouTube and of course watching the streams live on Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, until the next one, take care and ciao for now.